Hi, this is Margaret Alvarez, and this is your Gratitude Challenge Day 4. Today we'll be using the book Wake Up Grateful by Christy Nelson. In this book, there are five guiding principles to living a more grateful life. Today's focus, appreciation is generative. Hi, so today we're going to talk about appreciation is generative. Generative is a word that I had to look up literally a couple of times. I have sat on this guiding principle for a couple of days, just thinking about what does that mean? And then all of a sudden a light came on and I realized that it means that you're going full circle. So if you appreciate, you are giving back to that person or thing, and then in turn, those things get returned to you. It's gratitude. Appreciation is gratitude. And as long as you have gratitude, you will get everything that's coming to you. Um, in the book, they say appreciation is an active verb and calls for active engagement. That means you have to act on it. You have to do what you need to do to make that person feel appreciated um, or, you know, give back to your community, give back to the earth, give back. You know, there's this thing that happens when you are appreciating with your whole heart and when you're done appreciating you're giving off that appreciation which makes you feel good you're making another person feel good and in turn it comes back to you and then you have more things to appreciate and feel good about so it just clicked for me that that is what this is about and so in the book they mention that when you tend what you value like a plant, it'll grow, right? You tend to that thing, that person. Um, you pay attention. So I'm going to try to do this in a way of thank you cards. I'm going to uh, pick three people to send a thank you card through the mail because let's just face it, people don't get mail anymore. It's just, it's not something that, you know, um, you don't expect a handwritten letter anymore. It's more about email and text messages. And I just think it's nice. It's a genuine way to appreciate somebody. I'm going to do that. I'm going to pick three people. I want you to try to do the same. This is just actively putting into practice what we're learning from this appreciation is generative um, guiding principle. I will be back uh, with some mixed media art that I want to teach you. Um, I'm going to just kind of freestyle it and show you how um, you can mix up different mediums in your art journal. So you'll have a prompt. I hope you enjoy it. I hope that you are able to pick three people th that you appreciate in your life that will probably not expect something like this and it makes you feel good. It's a win-win, people. It's a win-win. Okay, so I will see you soon. Stay tuned for my uh, last thoughts on this. I look forward to it. and welcome to your next art journaling prompt. Today we are gonna create mixed media work inside your art journal. What is mixed media? Mixed media is using a whole bunch of mediums together all in one place. What mediums are we gonna to use today? We are going to use collage. I've cut out some pictures out of magazines. We're gonna use collage. We are going to use watercolor paint. We're gonna use acrylic paint. We're gonna use stencils. We're gonna use crayons. We're gonna put it all together. And I'm gonna show you an easy step-by-step -step process of doing this. Um, it'll be fun. It's a mix of things. It's just really you playing around with different materials and can be very relaxing. So I suggest turn on some music, get out what you need for this assignment and have fun. <laughs>
Okay, so here are my final thoughts on appreciation is generative. My final thoughts are that when you appreciate, you're creating really good energy. When you're appreciating anything, any person, anything, as long as you have that mindset, there's this good energy flow that happens. Like I talked about before, there's that cycle. So the more we appreciate, the more things thrive, the more we thrive. That is a quote from the book. I just think that I, I really love that. Like I highlighted that. The more we appreciate, the more things thrive, the more we thrive. I couldn't agree more on that. So a couple of questions from the book to kind of help you to connect and to think about this a little bit more. Where is appreciation most needed right now? And the second question is, what do you care about that you want to help thrive? So this is just a good one to sit on uh, just to think, like think about some of the things that, you know, you, you probably don't think about. And I think, again, a, a common theme is that, you know, we tend to just coast through life. And, and this book really helps you to connect these projects and these things that we're doing is kind of like, um, it is a way to reflect. It's a way to get creative and have fun, but also you're reflecting on all of this learning that you're doing um, with each of these guiding principles. And in turn, you're like, you're actually thinking about like, how can I, how, what can I do differently? How can I live differently? So how can I live with more gratitude? Um, I just love that about this book. And so I hope that you will um, appreciate what this guiding principle is teaching and you will go and find yourself some people and things to appreciate. Our next guiding principle is love is transformative. This will be the last of the gratitude challenge. I look forward to it. I hope you are doing well. I hope you are enjoying each of these videos and I really appreciate you appreciate that you're watching this right now. So I just had to end with a little appreciation. I will see you soon.